In this video, we will take a look at the definition and examples of surjective functions. So if each element of the codomain of a function is mapped to by at least one element of the domain of the function, then that function is called a surjective function or onto. Now this implies that it is possible that one element of the codomain be mapped to more than one element of the domain. So let's take a look at some examples. For example, the function f whose domain is r and its codomain is also r and the function is given by f of x is equals to x plus 5. This is a surjective function. In fact, it is both a surjective and an injective function. Now let's consider the exponential function where its codomain is restricted to its image which is basically the positive real numbers because the exponential function can only attain positive real numbers as its output. So g of x is equals to e to the power x where the codomain is r plus. Now, this function also satisfies the definition of surjective function and hence it is a surjective function. If we look at the definition of injective function, this also satisfies that one as well. So these first two functions are basically both surjective and injective. Now let's take a look at the function h whose domain and codomain are both r and the function is given by x cubed minus x. This function is not injective but it does satisfy the definition of surjective functions. So if we look at this um, graph of this function h, we can see that for three different inputs, so if we put 0, plus 1 or minus 1 as inputs in the function h, we will get the same exact output which is 0. So this function attains the same value at three different inputs. So this is, this is a surjective function but not injective function. Let's take a look at uh, for the detailed understanding of this definition. So this is the simple case which shows us that each element of the codomain is being mapped to by at least one element of the domain and hence this satisfies the definition of the subjective function. But let's take a look at this example which is a little bit complicated than the previous one. So here some elements of the codomain are mapped to by at least one element of the domain. For example, Z is mapped to by 25 but uh, not more than any other, uh, not anything else other than 25. However, W and X are mapped to by more than one element in this case. So W is being mapped to by 10, 12 and 15 and X is being mapped to by only one element 15. So some elements of the codomain are mapped to by at least one elements, whereas some other elements are mapped to by more than one elements, but no elements of the codomain are remaining unmapped. So if you remember in the case of injective function, it is possible that some elements of the codomain remain unmapped, but in the case of surjective function, all elements of the codomain should be mapped, which is basically another way of saying that the codomain equals to its image. So to simplify everything together, we can in one line say that a surjective function's codomain is also its image, and every element of the image is mapped to by at least can be more so elements of the domain and this is called a surjective function if you like my videos and find them helpful then please support my work by subscribing to the channel